What's up, guys? It's John from The Gun Collective, and today we're doing a little bit of a first impressions on the Bighorn Armory 500 Auto Max. I've got some 350 grain soft point ammo. This stuff is a thumper of a good time. And on top of that, we got a special guest today at the range. Ooh, that's me. That's my cue. Here he comes. Here he comes. What's up, guys? Yeah. Let's get to it. Coltac is no longer just making suppressor wraps and pouches. They're jumping headfirst into the precision rifle game with products like the Cuddle Bag. The Boss Bag. The Ammo Book. And the Rifle Handle. You pick the colors, they build the gear. And because you're awesome and you watch TGC, they're doing a special discount code for you. TGC10 will get 10% off your entire order over at coltac.com. What's up guys, my name is Talon Sai. I have a channel called Talon Sai, and I ran into John a couple months ago at NRA. Found out that we are local to each other, so if you guys wanna check out my channel, I do a couple gun things from time to time, so out here shooting today. Yeah, you should check it out guys, it's awesome. Let's do it. Shoot that thing, man. Let's have some fun. Shoot 50 or 100? Uh, shoot a 50. All right. That thing has the SIG Romeo 4S on top, guys, just so you know. <laughs> Dude, that recoil is fantastic. I know. How do you feel? Feel good. You feel more American now? <laughs> Pretty American, yeah. Here we go. All right. Putting some big old holes in that target. For whatever reason, this isn't locking open, but I probably just need to adjust the gas. You know, first impressions though, uh, that recoil is totally manageable. Very manageable. Surprisingly, actually, how manageable it is with the suppressor and everything. Yeah. I think the gun has a good weight to it, and then just big butt pad on the end. Yeah. <laughs> big butt. Big old butts. I mean, it's it's also pretty like squishy, kind of yeah, like this waffle like pattern. It's not magpole stacks of plates, that kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's just polymer. It actually so, absorbs it. Yeah, it's uh, certainly not at most in Nagant levels, but um, not quite 5.56. Five, <laughs> right. <laughs> Super accurate shots right here. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, man. I, I think you got the berm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once or twice. How was it? How is that though? Is that better? To shoot it quicker? Yeah, yeah. Like, does um, it? Is it make it any worse? Do you feel like you had control? No, I mean, it, I, I was trying to get back on paper there because obviously this, this thing is jumping. Yeah, it's moving all over pretty quick, but. It's still pretty manageable. I mean, I shoot with both my eyes open for the most part, even with a red dot like this. Okay. So I had a clear picture on the target each time. Ow. I'm trying to look at the brass to make sure it's not... No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, this thing's performing pretty good. I think I should aim high, low, mid. You, where are you going? 200, right? Uh, hold above, just above the head and see where it hits. Okay. Going high. All right, so you're high, hold straight on. Straight on. You're just off to the right, so hold left edge. There you go. Heard that. That thing smacks the crap out of that steel. Yeah. You may have another one in there, I'm not sure. Okay. Click. Ready? Yep. Hit. 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 Dead center. I think it's interesting that we just like barely left it a little bit high at 50 and it's dead on yeah. at two. The bullet, I don't know what those are coming out of the muzzle at, but I could actually see the trajectory from standing behind you. So they're, they're about 2,000-ish, maybe a little bit higher. Okay, with they're, the suppressor they're too? They're cooking out of there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I haven't clocked it yet, but they are cooking out of there. For a 400 grain? That was a 400 grainer. That's that's impressive. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're moving. And the recoil impulse, like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're shooting a 400 grain bullet. No. 
I'm curious right. to see what's the next low. It's like a 330. Uh, we, I actually have some 270 grain or 275 grains. Uh, pretty standard in 500 is 300 grain bullets. So you've got like a 400 and then like a 350, mm -hmm. and then you drop down to like a 325 and a 300, but those are pretty standard. I like think, 50 AE I uses. Think, yeah, my 50 AEs that I typically shoot, the Hornady Yeah, X. that'll be, the Hornady XTPs are 325s. Good hits, man. Looks like you're uh, you're getting a little more comfortable with it. Yeah. I mean, I was I was still holding a little bit to the left side there, but seems to be fine. Maybe just the way that I'm shooting. Way right, hold left. Yeah. Still right, hold left. Good hit. All right, three rounds, 200 yards. See if I can connect every time. High right. Hit. Hit. So certainly a different video than what you're used to seeing here on TGC. Doing a little bit of a first impressions with my buddy Talon Sai. He's local. You guys know that. Um, what'd you think, man? What'd you think of the 500 Automax? Um, when I look at guns, I typically talk about aesthetics first. So I know you guys aren't super into that, you're into performance, but I think this is a very aesthetically pleasing gun. I, like I think this receiver set looks awesome. Yeah, the receiver set specifically, it looks, looks very well, but at the same time, super functional at the same. Um, the butt pad for a very large round that you're shooting made the recoil surprisingly comfortable. Yeah. Uh, the recoil is pretty linear. It's not like jumping out of your hands too much. I was pretty impressed with it overall. Yeah, and shooting it from the bench, you know, limited round count, just trying to get a feel for what the the gun is doing and uh, hang out and have some fun. I definitely agree with that butt pad. That thing is fantastic. It definitely needs a gas adjustment to get this thing to lock back. Right. Probably need to give it a little bit more gas, which is, I think, odd, considering there's a suppressor on there. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna play with it, though, and keep shooting it, and then we're gonna try to get some information on how this thing groups, how it shoots. And honestly, I think, uh, I think maybe we both need to go out with something like this and go kill some pigs. I would be 100% down to do that. I think we need to do that. I think we can do it. Well, uh, guys, that's a quick little first impressions on the Bighorn Armory 500 Automax. Thanks again to Talon Sai coming out. Check out his channel because it is freaking cool. It's a lot different than any other standard gun channel that you're used to. Dopest vlog in the game, so to speak, right? You got it, man. You got it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace. Nice and simple. Nice and simple.